So, hi guys, welcome to our second second session. So I hope that you are all ready and uh, that you are ready for 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 our work uh, today. Uh, before we start, yeah, before we start, please, if you have any question, you can. You can write on the Q&A section on the top of your right uh, screen. Uh, so after the session, I will try to answer on, on all on all your answers. Uh, questions, sorry. So uh, today we're gonna work like you see. Uh, we're gonna talk like you see on uh, about basket uh, basketball court areas. So it's very important that section that you know. Uh, for example, if you play a game uh, and coach said something, I don't know, uh, watch that guy, watch the player in the corner, uh, you have to know where is that or watch the guy on the wing, right or left wing. So you need to know, you must know where is that that you can go react. Because in a game, when you are in game, uh, little details uh, can can uh, do win or lose, so it's very important to know that. So we'll we'll go from some uh, uh, through all area in the basketball court, and after that we're gonna go to to work on our basketball skills. So let's start. You see, I will put on the right side of your screen. I will put the whole area. A basketball area and on the left side I will ask you if you know where is the three second area. OK, so the three second area is. Uh, is uh, the below this, this, this is the area below the free throw line and uh, is between the lane lane. Point lines paint paint lines. OK, uh, if any offensive player, if any offensive player reminds in this area more than three seconds, that is violation and the other other teams uh, gets the ball. So you cannot be more than three seconds in that area. It's very important uh, in the game and also uh, in some leagues, uh, especially in the NBA, uh, and offensive player and defensive player cannot be in that area more than three seconds. It's violation. So, in a, if you are in defense, you get free throw. The, the opposite team get free throw line, uh, free throw attempt. Or if you are in offense, uh, you lose the ball. Okay. So next one will be block area, or we can call we uh, we call that also an lower low post area. Okay. That is on this. Session the, the block is a buffer area painted on the lane lines separating offensive and defensive players during a free throw attempt. It is a very strategic area during the game. We call that area and low post, of course. And if offensive player gets the ball in that area, he will probably score or he will earn the foul from his defender because it's so close to the basket. And if you have good technique, back technique, you can easily to score or maybe earn that foul, which you will get two free throws or maybe you will score and then you will have one free throw. Next one. Next one is elbow area or high post area. So. Elbow is the area of the court where the free throw line meets the lane line, so we call that area also in high post area like the block or low post area. Uh, the elbows become important on dribble penetration, so that means when you get the ball on that area, you can easily make some uh, jump um, shot fake or a jab step and then go straight away to the basket. And any player offense or defense who gets the elbow first will gain an advantage. That means in offense you want to go straight away to the basket, but if you are in defense, you try to stop that. So it's very important when you play the game that you, if you play defense, that you play the defense, uh, defense that your player cannot uh, receive the ball in that area because it's very, very dangerous area. 
OK, next one is free throw line extended area, which means it's very important for um, if you play defense, it's you can you can uh, we coaches, we can make defense. We can tell, for example, player to if you are uh, if you are above the free throw line, OK, then defense will be one one we one or man to man because he is too far from the basket. So if he shoot, maybe he will miss, maybe he will score, but probably he will most time miss. So we will do that that we uh, play man to man. We will not be we will not have any any help side or something like that. We will play man to man. But if the ball is above the free throw line, that means that the player with the ball is close to the basket and then we will make use trap situation. That is that means that you will uh, protect. You will defend with two defenders on the ball. You will trap that 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 uh, that uh, player with the ball needs to pass the ball away from the from the basket. OK, so that you can. It's very important in the game as well. Next one will be top of the circle or top of the key area. It's it's the area straight out from the basket just outside the free throw circle. So it is a favorite spot from which many players like to shoot. Why? Because when you turn around to the basket, you see the basket in the middle. OK, and when you shoot, you exactly see if the ball will go in or out. And if you are if you are uh, aggressive to the basket, you can go jump. You can make a rebound for that ball and you will see where the ball will go. Maybe you will shoot the ball and you see that the ball will not go in, but he will go on the right side. So you can go straight away to the right side and try to rebound for that ball and try to make basket again. Next one will be wing area as well. The wing area is located on the side of the court near the free throw line extended. In the defense, wing areas can be ball side or strong side and weak side according to the location of the player with the ball. That means that the wing on the same side as the ball handler is the ball side or strong side wing and the wing on the side away from the ball handler is the weak side. So for example, if you see here, the ball is on the right side. That means that uh, you will be on the ball side or strong side because he is dangerous to go to the basket and you need, need to defend him. But if you're on opposite side, you're not. You will not be exact, exactly with your man, with your player. You will remove, you will re relocate your position and you will be on weak side. That means if the player from the right side will penetrate to the basket, you will maybe go to help him. You will stop him, you will bump him, and then he will not go easily to the basket. OK, I hope that you will you will understand me. OK, so next one. Next one will be will be corner area. OK, the corner area is where the sideline and baseline meet. OK, this is another favorite area from which player like to shoot. I know I don't know if you know maybe Ray Allen. He likes that spot in the NBA. He shot from that spot very, very often. So in, he was very good from that spot. Uh, however, it is also an area where the defense can trap an offensive player with the ball. So if you play defense and you know that that player is very good shooter, we will trap him on that position. That means that we will go two defenders on him and then we will force him that he pass the ball away from that spot that he cannot he cannot shoot. Next one will be short corner area. So the short corner area is along the baseline halfway between the sideline and the lane line. It is a strategic, strategic offensive area, especially when uh, when defense play zone. OK, that means that from that side you will have a lot of shot. If you make some play, you can easily uh, easily pass the ball to, to 
I mean, get the ball there and you will have free free shot. And the last one will be front court and back court. So the front court uh, is used to offensive and offensive end of the court from the mid court line to the baseline. And the back court is used to area behind the mid court line. It includes the half of the court from the mid court line back to the end line. Once when player across the mid court line with the ball, they cannot go back. Otherwise, that that is backcourt violation, and, and the other team gets the ball. And when you when you uh, get the ball in backcourt, you have only eight seconds to go to the front court. When you cross the half court, that's it. You cannot go back. Otherwise, is a backcourt violation, and you cannot go uh, and you lose the ball. Okay. And that's it for for today. Uh, on this first part of the session. So now we're going to take our balls and let's go to the second part. We, today we will start with um, ball handling. We will warm up our body a little bit and then we have uh, something interesting uh, dribble, dribbling, dribbling moves. OK, so let's start. Let's start very good. So, for beginning, we will have, you need, like always, you need one ball, one mat. Okay, for the end of the practice, we will make some, we will make some uh, strength, strength exercise. Okay, today we're going to start with uh, wraps around one leg around the second leg, leg and then we, we will connect that, we will make figure eight. OK, after that we're going to start with dribbles. Very good. So let's start. Always stay in low position. OK, now we will step forward with right foot. OK, stay low. Don't go, don't go with your back like this. OK, not like this. Open your chest, open your chest, your spine is straight. OK, and now we have 20 reps. You need to go around your right foot. OK, so we start on two, one and go 20 times as fast as you can. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep your rhythm. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Very good. Very good. You can shake your legs a little bit. We're going to start again. Same same uh, leg front. Now we're going to start in uh, another side. OK, so three, two, one, go. Another side. Very good. Don't forget to keep your eyes up. Your chest is out. And do it that as fast as you can. Very good. Excellent. Shake your legs a little bit. Very good. Shake your legs. You can shake your hands. Let's go triple threat position. Stay low. Now you will step forward with right left foot. Sorry, left foot. And now we have same thing. Three, two, one, go. Open your chest. Spine is straight. I'm doing this as fast as you can. 20 reps, guys. 20 reps. Very good. Excellent. Shake your hand, uh, shake your legs, shake your hand. Very good. Let's go another time. Another side. Step forward with your left foot. Three, two, one, go. Eyes up, eyes up, entire time. 20 reps, let's go. Very good, excellent. Next one, guys, we'll stand a little bit wider, okay? And you will have figure eight. So you will pass the ball between the legs, okay? From front side to back side, okay? So you have 20 reps. This is one, this is two, okay? Ready? Three, 
two, open your chest, open your chest, straight spine. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Eyes up. Entire time. Very good. Excellent. Shake your hand. Shake your leg. Very good, guys. Very good. Next one, guys. Same thing. Same thing, but now you have from back side to front side. Back side, front side. Very good. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. Two. Open your chest. You have to be straight. Very good. Don't lean forward. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, guys. So now we're going to start with ribbon. First, we have a V front ribbon with one hand. That means that means that you will push the ball with your right hand. With your right hand, you will push the ball from from right side to the left side, and then you will pull up, pull the uh, back from left side to the right side. Okay. Big difference when coach said in and out and V front dribble. That means when you make in and out, you will go only to half half uh, side of your body. Okay, so you will go like this. This is in and out, and this is this is V front dribble. Okay, so we have 20 reps. This is one, two. Okay. Right side, right hand, stay in low position, stay in low position, your chest is out again, spine straight, stay low, let's go. From right side to the left side, you take the ball with your left hand. Try to dribble the ball below your knees, very good, below your knees, push the ball from side to side. Very good. Excellent. 20 times. Let's go rest a little bit. We'll start from three, two, one. Same thing, left hand. Same thing, left hand. Let's go. 20 reps. Don't worry if you lose the ball. That is good, guys. That is good. That means that you push yourself. Very good. Let's go. Open your eyes. Open your chest. Eyes up, entire time, 20 times. Very good, guys. Very good. Now we're going to have same thing, but now we will not rest, okay? When we finish with right hand, we'll make crossover and then continue with left hand, okay? Ready, guys? One more time. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 reps, and then make switch. Push the ball, push the ball as fast as you can. Very good, switch. Continue with left hand. Very good, push yourself. Very good, excellent guys. Excellent guys. Next one, we have same thing, but now we have way we dribble, but now we will we will go to the side, okay? So you will go on the right side, back front, back front, back front, okay? Ready, guys? We, we have two sets of that, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Back front. Push the ball, push the ball. Stronger. Very good, very good. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Let's go. Shake your hands a little bit. Legs as well. Very good. Ready? Left hand dribble. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back front. Don't worry if you lose the ball. Just 
keep going. Take the ball back and keep going. Let's go. Push yourself. Very good, guys. Very good. Let's go. We're going to repeat this, okay, but without rest time. So when you finish with right hand, you will switch and continue with left hand, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Very good. Open your chest. Spine is straight. Eyes up. You take the ball with your free hand. Very good. Switch. Let's go, left hand. Take the ball, eyes up. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Nice, guys. Next one. We have... Now we'll have between the legs, okay? Between the legs, but we'll put one foot forward. We'll start with left foot forward, and then we'll start from right side to the left side. Okay, you will just uh, push the ball between the legs, okay? You will not do anything else. But, guys, if this, that is too easy for you, we have next, next one. So, first, just to see my footwork, okay? So, first, you will stay in low position, you will step forward, okay? And now you will just push the ball between the legs, okay? This is one option. Second option, guys. Second option will be two dribble on the right side and then two dribble between the legs. And continue with two dribbles on the right side. But guys, look at my feet. I dribble on the right side, my feet are parallel. When I make the between the legs, I will go with one foot forward, second foot uh, backward, okay? And then you have one, two, 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 okay? For beginner group, we have one foot forward and we just pass the ball, we just dribble the ball between our legs. Okay, are you ready? 20 reps, start. Now, let's go. 20 times, 20 reps. Next one. Very good. Excellent, guys. Excellent, guys. Shake your legs a little bit. Your arms. Very good. Now we will repeat that with left hand. Left hand dribble. Okay. You will step forward with right foot. Okay. Or the second option is two dribbles on the left side. Jump with right foot forward, left foot backward. One, two. Go back. One, two. Go back. One, two, go back. Okay, first option, one foot forward, left foot, uh, left foot backward. Okay, and just push the ball between your legs. Okay, ready guys? Three, two, one, go. Step forward and go. Let's go. 20 reps. First option, let's go second option. Go harder, let's go, let's go. 20 reps, very good, very good, guys. Excellent. Now we're gonna say thing, same thing one more time, okay? Second set. Ready, guys? Step forward with left foot. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Eyes up, entire time, guys. Your chest is out, spine straight, just push the ball. Push the ball between your legs. 20 reps. Very good, guys. Next one. Right foot forward. Left foot back. Okay. Same thing. Three, two, one. Go. Don't worry if you lose the ball, guys. Second option. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Very good, guys. Excellent. Now you can you can put the ball out. Now we have strength 
strength exercise. So we have two sets. Now we start with sit-ups, okay? And after that we have push-ups. So from sit-ups we have <coughs> you will put the hand on your knees, okay? And you just go up and down, okay? You need to crunch, you need to crunch your abs. So every time and you go up, crunch, and then go up, go back, crunch, and then go back, okay? 20 reps. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, crunch. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go 10 more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Excellent. Push ups, guys. Easy. Push up position. Push up position. Okay. You're going down and up. 10 times, uh, 15 times. Okay. 15 reps. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. Very good. Excellent, guys. Little bit rest. Rest, guys. 15 seconds. Guys, this is very important in basketball. Strength exercise. Like I said last time, your abs is everything. If you have strong abs, you can shoot. You can play defense. You can run. You can jump. Everything with basketball needed okay so you will be better better basketball player if you have strong abs of course if you have strong muscles it will be plus for you okay so next one now in the first set we hit upper upper uh, abs okay now we will hit lower abs okay so we will just sit on our back Sit on the back, put your hands under your butt, extend your uh, legs, okay? And now you have just like scissors, okay? You make scissors move, 20 reps, okay? Now make crunch, make crunch, okay? And then make scissors, okay? Ready? Three, two, and sorry, don't touch the floor with your heels, okay? Your feet has to be in the air entire time. Ready? 20 times. Now, go. Very good. Excellent, guys. You're going back on the push-up position. Okay, but now you will stay with your hands a little bit wider. Okay? On the first you have stayed in this position, but now you have to be in wider position. OK, so we have same thing. But guys, if this is too hard for you, you can do the same thing on your knees. OK, so you just put on your knees and go down and up, down and up. It will be easy for you. OK, for, for you guys who can make real uh, Real uh, push-ups, you can do it like that, okay? Ready, guys? 15. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good, guys. Very good. Guys, this is it for this session. But like I told you last time, you can do it. You can do this practice every day, every day. Even when we finish now, you can make you can make the same thing, but you can make four sets, five sets. OK, 
but every time when you're doing that, you have to give everything what you have. So you have to be in full, full speed. OK. Uh, one more time, you have, if you have some questions, please give me. Uh, you can write on the Q&A section and I will try to I will try to uh, answer it right away. Just a second. So. Is this session for boys and girls? Yes, this is session for boys and girls. You can do. You can do it uh, either way. Is this live? Yes, it is very good. So if you have any question at all. Please ask me. Very good. So if we are done, guys, stay safe and try to try to work at home whenever you can. OK, and you can do this any any time, any day. See you next next week, guys. Bye. People. Oops.